What's your question? Uh, I'm from Humphrey Park, so IUIC be in my neighborhood. Okay. So what, what do you think about um, camps that say uh, Mexicans are not a part of the 12 tribe? Because I don't necessarily know. Okay. Because, I, I, like I said, I'm from Humboldt Park, so I grew up around them with Puerto Rican, Dominicans. Right, right. You know, uh, let's, uh, let's say, I know a lot of uh, uh, Instagram Mexicans that say that they Ruben in my neighborhood. Okay. Like they say they more native. Okay. And, um, Aztec with mine or similar. Right. So what, what y'all say? We, that's why we got them on this chart right here. We have it on here because these are the 12 tribes right here. These are the people that fit the curses. Right. These, these are the same people that was conquered and colonized just like we were, right? Mm -hmm. So we teach that these are the children of Israel. That's what we teach. That's the right. that don't teach this, they they are not, uh, they don't got a full understanding of what the Bible already teaches. That's just period, period, point blank. Because let's go through the curses. Re, re, go to Deuteronomy chapter 28. Bring it out. Start at verse 30. Because those camps that teach those things, they don't have a full understanding because they go off color. That's really what it boils down to. If we went off color, I might not even make it, right? I'm saying, I'm light skin. You know what I'm saying? So it's all, we come in all different shades. Of, we all come in all different colors. But for somebody to say something that somebody is not the children of Israel based off their color, they don't have to understand the Bible. And everybody is not going to have the full understanding. You know what I'm saying? So it's up to you to find the proper teacher to be able to show you what the Bible is actually saying. Read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 30. Thou shalt betroth the wife, and another man shall lie with her. Thou shalt build a house, and thou shalt not dwell therein. Right, so it says, thou shalt betroth the wife. When they came over here, wasn't the Native Americans already here? Matter of fact, let me show you something. Go to 2 Andrew chapter, what's that, 13 verse 40. Let me show you how they got over here. Okay, because the Bible describes how the Native Americans got over here. Because nobody talks about this, right? They said they came over here doing the Barren Straits. You familiar with that? So, the Bible... I'm very uh, historically accurate. I'll pray. So, my thing is, like, whenever I'm trying to spring to, to non-believers about the power of the Most High, like, this the hardest part for me. Right. Do you know this scripture right here, though? I'm familiar. Second, I say I know it. Okay, second, second Ezra chapter 13, verse 40. The book of Second Ezra chapter 13, verse 40. These are the ten tribes which were carried away prisoners right. up, okay, I'm sorry. out of their own land in the time of Hosea the king. So it said, it know it's, you know it's twelve tribes, right? It said these are the ten tribes. So this wasn't all the tribes. So the ten tribes were the northern kingdom tribes. Was the other tribes because when the, the other people say that they are not... The, 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 the Hispanics is not the Israelites when they're saying that? Well, they say specifically Mexicans. Oh, so they say that Puerto Rico? Well, where I'm from, all my brothers eat from already. Oh, so they say... So they, we, like, they, like, even uh, the commandment people that was with one west with my uncle, and them, like, they all Puerto Rican primarily. Right. Even the Dominican. It was the Mexicans that they said... So they just sing it out the Mexicans, not everybody. The Mexicans in particular, they say that they're not. Um, so the Dominicans are, are, Puerto Ricans yeah, are. Puerto Ricans, Guatemalan, Panamanians. But when they come to Mexicans, they like not them. They're, they they're not them. Not All right, so get me back to the right. Why is that? I, I, what what I, they, I, they, you ever ask them why? Well, I, like you said, primarily it's like color, and then some brothers say they don't fit the, the, uh, the curse. All right, so go back to the right, chapter 28. So you already familiar with how they got over here, those, those nations. So I want to go back to that. Let me get a slide. The book of Deuteronomy. Verse 32. This is today. This is a curse today. So you know you're familiar with the curses there, right? So we know that the curses is lasting until Christ comes back, right? Read verse 32. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 32. I'm going to see who does this sound like this pertain to. Read. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. And thine eyes shall look and fill with longing for them all the day long. And there shall be no might in thine hand. Read that again. So who is that talking about? Us. I know it's talking about us, but I'm talking about today. Say, read, and think in the context of the so-called Mexicans. Right. Read that again. 
The Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thine eyes shall look and fill with longing for them all the day long. And there should be no might in thine hands. What's happening right now? Oh, yeah, we can you. Right. That's happening right now. That's a curse that happened. Then it's happening now. This has been happening for hundreds of years. So it says, thy sons, thy daughters shall be given to another people. Ain't they in cages at the border? Given it to another people? Do you know some of them kids never made it back to their families? Yeah. You know they spread out all, they got them in camps all over America? Did you notice? This is a curse. This is how we know. We know because they fit the curses. They are going through the same things that we're going through. That's one of the curses right there, right? The, that is that, that border patrol, that ICE, where people being taken out of their houses. You know what I'm saying? That ICE coming around here. If you ain't got your papers, they taking you out of here. That's being given to another people. Right, that's going to that curse. But like I said, you gotta be examined. It's always been a hatred between the different tribes, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of people don't want to acknowledge people as being the children of Israel. You know what I mean? But Christ came here to unite the 12 tribes and say, gather yourself together. Read what you got. This is, this is Black Indians, page 31. In 1519, when the Spaniards arrived, it says in 1519 when the Spaniards arrived, so the Spaniards are who? Right, which is Esau, right? Which is the other nation, right? Read. Mexico had a population. When did they arrive to? Mexico. And what and what is the symbol of the Spaniards, you know? What's the symbol of the Spaniards? They had a few. What's the symbol of America? The eagle. Oh, you talking about Yeah, yeah, the eagle. The, and the eagle was the sign for the Spaniards. They always have their signet, right? Right. They come from Rome. The Spaniards came to Mexico. Right? That's where they came at. And they conquered their land. Read what you got. Mexico had a population of 25 million Indians. Right, because the Indians and the Mexicans, those are the same thing, the people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's residing in different areas. They show that a lot in their culture. Right, right exactly. Yeah. Right, the way they dress. You see fringes on a lot of their stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? The way they eat, the things that they do. Read. By the end of the century, only a million were still alive. They wiped them out. That's happened to the Mexicans. This is a, this is a historical book showing what happened to the so-called Mexicans. This is our history. I mean, this is, this is our brother. The same thing happened to us. Well, they say that Mexicans are not um, this part. They say that, that that's a bit more like... Uh, and what do your men teach? You know what they teach? That's what I'm saying. So that's what we're talking about. We're talking about the understanding of what the Bible says, though. That's how you can understand about doing what it says. Read. The book and, is and strong. You gotta do what it say. You, you can ask all the questions you want, but like, if actually, you keeping the Sabbath day? Okay, I'll pray. So that's that's one step. Read what you got. The Book of Psalms, chapter one eleven, verse ten. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So the fear of God, the respect of the Lord, is the beginning. This is how you get the wisdom. Read. A good understanding have all they that do His commandment. A good understanding have all that do the commandments. That is the only way for you to understand even the smallest thing. So let me give you a seem like a small, this is like a small thing. Give me Numbers chapter 15 verse 38. That you know already. You know the commandment. You have to apply it from the smallest to the, to the biggest. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you think is small. But there's really no such thing as a small one because they all for our good, right? That's right. They all going to help us out, right? Read what you got. The book of Numbers chapter 15 15 verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel and bless them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generation. So that's it. Throughout their generations is how long? Forever. Forever. It said make them, bid them, command them that they make them fringes on the borders of their garments. That's what we get on our garments. Read. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. God is real descriptive and specific on how he want us to dress, how he want us to act, right? He's very descriptive. It's for our good, though. He's our heavenly father. The things that he set in place is not always easy for us to understand, but it is for our good to be able to make us better people and to become more um, 
become, become better and understand his laws as well. Read, read what you got. And that shall be unto you for a fringe, that you may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord. So it says, by having these on, you can look upon it, and God going to put on your spirit to remember the laws. So this is something that you have to implement, because if you don't, read, read and, them. And do them. And do them. It says it's going to help you remember and do them. This is our strength right here. It's not nothing small. Read what you got. Read on. Seek not after your own heart and your own eyes after which he used to go a whoring. Right, because if we don't do it, we will seek after our own mind and our heart and, and stay in sin and do the things that we were doing before we knew about keeping these laws. Right. You know what I mean? So this is what he put in place. He implemented this as a safety net for us so that we can kind of navigate this world and knowing that when we see stuff that's out of order, we will know like, boy, that's a sin. Or I can't do this. Like, just imagine you about to go to a girl house and you got to pull out the condom out your pocket, you got your friend or something. And damn, I can't do this. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.